you know, all the cope aside, but all the shit that comes to bullshit like this, at this point, y'all just have to understand that this is a fetish. Okay, it doesn't matter if you want to say, hey, the reason that that character looked ugly was because it was based on a trans developer. Or, look, we found the face model and actually, it's not that bad. Listen, motherfucker. How many times does this shit need to fucking happen, okay? Remember when this technology started? It was with Until Dawn. You remember that? Taking Henny and Pet and Tier and... I forgot the fucking actor's name. It's not Nishtu Kumar. The Mr. Robot actor. Taking actors like that, face scan them into the games, and having themselves the actual unironic movie games before we got the movie games. And then, just taking characters and making them ugly every single time they scan them in, with the exception of the AAA development games like Data of War and Data of War Ragnarok. But then, we saw what they did <laughs> with killing a studio with their freaking mind. Taking the assets of Final Fantasy 13 Versus, which was the work that was put into Final Fantasy, you know, 13, 13, 2, 13, 3, also known as Lightning Returns, all that shit, all that technology that was meant for the fabulous new Tales of the Crystal, all that technology that they wasted time on and only got to use again with Forspoken, you saw that they took the attractive black actress, who had, I would say, a flopping movie career, considering the last thing she was in was in, um, the Kristen Stewart Charlie's Angels remake and they uglied the character up and you'd say oh well that's just the that's just part and parcel of doing business right they did it again and I mean before that they did it with Aloy they did the same thing to that face actress you take beautiful face actresses and you make them fucking ugly the only time we seem to be able to get attractive looking actresses is when you choose to go and do things like you did with the with the Resident Evil remakes and particularly with character action games like that of Bayonetta, more, more specifically in more recent memory, uh, Devil May Cry 5. Uh, we just have to accept that this is a fetish. They like seeing people be uglied up. They like doing the dove ad. They like doing the female barbarian of, Death, of Diablo 4 and saying, this is literally me. I don't, I don't know what to tell you, bro.